God is the great God. He deserves a great praise. Are you glad for Jesus this morning? Can you feel the shift in the atmosphere? Oh, God. God is writing a new story. Hallelujah. Can we just say that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. before 
that ye are in our hearts to die and live with. Great is my boldness of speech toward you. Great is my glory, glory of you. I am filled with comfort. I am exceeding joyful in all our tribulation. May the Lord ever add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. Amen.
everybody at this time to step up on your feet. Amen. And we have a great man of God here that hears from the Lord and he allow God to use him. Amen. As you know, this is a spirit-led church. Amen. In the spirit of God, we just let him have his way. Amen. I want everybody, amen, to lift up your voice and receive this great man of God. He is the senior pastor of the Greater Revival Church of God in Christ. And that's none other than Pastor Dennis J. Rogers. Why don't you receive him by giving God glory by saying hallelujah. Shall we pray? Whatever happens after this, then you're on your own. Go with me to the book of Acts. In the book of Acts, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me clear my eyes. Both of y'all wide open. In the book of Acts, the second chapter. The second chapter in the book of Acts. Ah, thank you, God. The 14th verse. The 14th verse, beginning reading there. Amen. Down to the 7th. Amen. And, and, and this is. But Peter, standing up with the 11, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea. And all ye that dwell in Jerusalem, yeah. be this known unto you, and hearken to my words. For these are not drunken, as ye suppose. Seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And that's 17. And it shall come to pass yeah. that in the last day, said God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see vision. And your old men shall dream dream. I wish you look at somebody and say neighbor or neighbor. This is nothing but the power of the Holy Ghost. One God. Am I in the house today? We believe in one that is, amen, so great that he manifests himself, amen, three ways. Amen, you take down number one, he's God the Father. The creator of the all life forms, creator, amen, of heaven and of the earth. Yeah. Amen. Then, secondly, he's God the Son who redeemed sinful man. Good God Almighty. Yeah. Back. Amen. And then, third, he's God the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout God the Holy Ghost. That will live inside of you because Jesus could not stay here on earth Forever? He couldn't stay here. God gave him a limited time, amen, to be here on earth. Amen. He says, I'm going to put you in the earth. You'll be there for about 33 and a half years. But when you come back to me, we're going to put something in your place. You're coming back to the Father, but the Holy Ghost is going to come down from heaven. Amen. My God. And now we don't have to pray, Lord, amen, send the Holy Ghost down. This man is greater than I am. Good God Almighty. But he knew that he was getting ready to prepare the world for the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout, Holy Ghost. He brought his disciples on board. He picked them one by one. Men, good God of mine, that wasn't great in the community. Men that didn't have a great portfolio. Men that was tax collectors. Men that was fishermen. And he just said to them two words. Y'all know what those 
those two words was good God of my all he said was men follow me yeah 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 son said I decided to follow Jesus yeah 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 I decided to make Jesus my choice I decided to give the Lord my heart good God of my I decided that I come over here where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. Anybody want to come on this side where the feast of the Lord is? On this side, there's joy everlasting. On this side, there's peace. On this side, there's happiness. On this side, no more hunger. On this side, no more dying. On this side, there's joy forevermore. I want you to tell your neighbor, come go with me to my father's house. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Good God of mine. He started teaching them after a while. And he told them, I'm not going to be with you always in the middle as a man. But I'm going away, and when I go away, I'm going to send somebody in my place. There we go. I'm going to send somebody in my place. When I go away, I'm going to send one that is called a divine helper. Anybody feel like every now and then we need some help? That's that divine helper. He's the one to give you power from on high. Good God of mine. And so he sent the Holy Ghost down. And then he tells them, I want you to do something for me. I want you to go back to Jerusalem and wait. Tell somebody we need to go back to Jerusalem. And wait and carry until the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That's what's wrong with some of us. We left Jerusalem a little too soon. We got a good blessing. Hey man, somebody prayed for us and we felt good. We got a good blessing and we rolled on the floor. We got a good blessing and we jumped up and down. But hunt your neighbor said, neighbor, neighbor, we need to go back to Jerusalem. We need to go back to Jerusalem. If we go back We'll stop loving our sisters and brothers. If we go back to Jerusalem, we're going to hang up our telephone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we go back to Jerusalem, we're going to go down on Skid Row. I need somebody. If we go back to Jerusalem, we're going to be in prayer service. When we go back to Jerusalem, we're going to be in Sunday school. When we go back to Jerusalem, tell somebody it's time. Somebody, we need the Holy Ghost. 
Ghost power. Listen, and you don't have to raise your hand, but for the benefit of those, amen, that gave their life to Christ, you in here, I'm especially talking to you. I'm especially talking to you. Your money can't keep you. Your spouse can't keep you. Or if you have a significant other, he or she can't keep you. So what you've been working there? Amen. 35 years, Brother Dennis Rod. I'm talking to myself now. But it wasn't that job that got me to where I am. But I thank God I had a praying mother and a praying father that wouldn't let God go until he saved their children. You and I both got some children, got some grandchildren, and got somebody out there. We stop praying for them. What am I telling you? Go back. Go back. Get back down on your knees. You know how close you are to your situation being turned around? Can I tell y'all how close you are to your situation? You can take this to the bank. You're about 18 inches. What do you mean, Pastor, 18 inches? From your knees to the floor. That's 18 inches right there. Here's where your deliverance comes. Here's where salvation comes in your house. It's right there. It's right there. What you do in secret, he'll reward you openly. You want to know somebody that's praying and fasting? I wish you hadn't been here and heard Mother Dandridge's testimony, amen, on Thursday night. It was like Sunday morning here this past Thursday night. What did she say? It was Legion's mother. On her lungs, she had legions on her lungs. Amen. Three legions on her lungs. Amen. But she been going about her business. Amen. Wasn't coming here testifying about woe is me. Y'all feel sorry for me. But she kept on praising it. Kept on shouting. Kept on singing. Kept on giving God the glory. show this is the real deal God can do it God can fix any problem in a situation that you're dealing with and if you're in this house right now and you really want this power I want you to rush to this altar amen like somebody's got a gun after you right now if you really want this thing sincere God can do it for you right now
yours for the asking. Let me tell you another thing about the Holy Ghost, and I'm getting ready to let you go. The Holy Ghost. When you pray and you seek for this power, listen, let me tell you. It's not said that you can receive the power here in the church. But when you are fasting and praying for this Holy Ghost power, it can fall afresh upon you at any time. And I didn't know this, amen, until I heard my father say it, amen, and he and I received the Holy Ghost in the same place while he was working his way through college, amen, at the grocery store. Amen. He told, amen, many of you heard him testify about that's where he received, amen, his mind went on what he was doing, but he was praying, amen, for God because he met God, amen, had an encounter with God, amen, been in the church all of his life, amen, but there, while he was tearing on his job, the Holy Ghost power overshadowed him at work, and that same thing happened to me in the back room. Minding my own business at the grocery store. I had my mind on Jesus. Amen. About what I needed to do. Amen. For me. And I was tired of my life going around in circles. Amen. And I wasn't accomplishing anything. But seemed like I was in a down spell. Sinking. Sinking. To rise no more. But while I was there, going about my business, the Holy the drum player, amen, and I had another encounter with that thing, amen, and just like my son, I was on those drums, I was beating those drums, and that anointing hit me once again, and I know the church must have been in awe, because I had to come up off those drums, and I just thought... what you asked for him to do. God would do it. Now you got to be sincere. You can't play patty cake with God. You can't say today is Sunday so I'm going to get it right. And then on Monday, I'm not going to start calling those things that you do, but you know what you do. When you really mean this thing in your heart, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and you can you seek God, I'm gonna tell you, he'll give it to you. He knows when you're ready for it. How many of you really want that Holy Ghost power? Listen, if you got it 30 years ago, you ought to be asking God, Lord, more power. I need more of you. 